Hello again, it's Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And here we are in part six for eight part series, Basic Training with Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And here in part six, we're going to look at sort of an advanced feature, but not that advanced. Key framing is something you'll see throughout the program. Key framing enables you to create animations. It enables you to create pans and zooms over photos. And it enables you to vary levels or vary settings of, say, for instance, audio or video. It's a key feature and one that once you understand is really going to open up all the deeper aspects of this program and really allow you to you to do some very very cool stuff to demonstrate keyframing i want to show you basic keyframing here to create an audio mix in other words we have a movie here on our timeline uh, we have three sources of audio in that movie on our timeline anyway and those three sources are the audio that's on the video itself a music track here called blue country and then in between them we have narration now what i want to do is i want to mute the audio that's on the movie itself i don't want to hear that at all what i like to hear is the background music blue country but when the narration comes in i want the background music to quiet down so i can hear the narration and then come back up after the narration now in order to do that we're going to keyframe the audio levels we're going to create an animation essentially of audio levels for blue country where it will be at full audio then drop back and then come back up to full audio and we're going to do that by means of using something called an audio envelope now to mute the audio here for our video clip or video clips we can do that a number of ways one is we can mute the entire track simply by clicking on the M button here on the track header that will mute all of the audio on all of the video clips that are on that track what I'm going to do is just mute the audio for the individual clips and one of the simplest ways to do that is just to drag the gain control down and you notice those little waveforms that represent the audio level are going to disappear as I drag the gain down there we go those are going down to gain level zero or audio level zero and so those will have no sound at all so we've easily eliminated the audio here that accompanies the video now all we need to do is mix the music and the narration track to add an audio envelope i'm going to select the track header for that track and then go up to the top of the program and insert audio envelope volume now the audio envelope is represented by this sort of purple heavy line that runs horizontally through the entire track. So it covers all of the audio clips or all of the audio events on that particular track. And it is set to a level right now at zero decibels. In other words, 100%. Now to scale it back, all I need to do is create some keyframes to control the settings at specific spots. So just before the narration kicks in, I'm going to double click on that heavy purple line that creates a keyframe let's create another one right next to it and then after the audio ends create another one and then another one right after it i've created a little hammock here a little bridge and all i need to do to lower the audio level for the segment when the narration is playing all i need to do is drag it down and you'll see an indicator show me what the audio level is as i pull it down i usually try to mix to around negative 10 is usually a good kind of fade back you'll still hear the music but yet the narration will be able to dominate so i'm just going to click and drag on that heavy purple line to bring that level down and there's 9.8 that's perfect so we should hear the music loud and clear then when the narration kicks in the music will fade back we'll hear the narration and then the music comes back in again move the playhead back to the beginning here and click the play button Twenty seventeen has been a very interesting year. All right, that actually sounded pretty good. A very nice mix there. And we can control that. We can raise and lower that as needed. And we can add as many keyframes as we want. We can adjust how close they are together, how quickly that fades down and fades up to get a nice natural blend in there but like i say keyframes are everywhere in the program and once you learn to look for them you can create all sorts of special effects animations and blends of video and audio now in part seven we're going to come back add titles to our project and then wrap the whole thing up in part eight i'm steve grisetti thanks for joining me